Hi, my name is Helen Boyd, and uh, I think like a lot of us in Transland, I'm still reeling uh, from the loss of my friend Monica Roberts. So I wrote a piece that I wanted to share with you all today um, because I knew I wouldn't get through speaking off the cuff. So my friend Monica, whose obituary was in the New York Times, my friend Monica, whose Shut Up Fool Awards are legendary, my friend Monica, who did so much of the work and got so little of the attention for too damn long. My friend Monica, who did at least start to see some of the recognition she deserved at the 50th anniversary of Stonewall in 2019 in New York City, blog awards, speaking gigs that paid real money. But that Monica's hard work and dedication to democratic politics wasn't mentioned by the New York Times is a shame. She was a stalwart. It's not as if she always agreed. I'm not sure there is a person on earth she agreed with all the time. But my God, she worked for the party and for change. She believed so deeply, and you can see that in the rage she expressed and the impatience she had for lightweights. She called out transphobia in black communities as hard as she called out the racism in trans communities. She educated trans women about cross-dressers and called out the transphobia in cross-dressing communities. She was intersectional, hardworking, earnest as fuck, made of salt and honey. I'm going to confess that I met Monica by pissing her off. I'm probably not the only one. It was some stupid campaign I was on as a mouthy young upstart in Transland, and I heard she was hurt because I hadn't emailed her to sign something. And I was honestly shocked that, one, she'd ever heard of me, and two, that she thought my stupid cause was worth her time. I mean, she was the trans griot, the voice of reason and anger, and goddamn, she was always right. We worked it out. We were both the kind of people who yell first and apologize later, if ever. We often commiserated about not being the type of people who could work within an org, which meant always being a freelancer volunteer in the work, something we both appreciated and were frustrated by, because it meant having a day job to pay the bills. But here's the thing. She did the work. She did so much of it. Phone calls all the time to black trans folks in, in trouble, digging into stories about crimes that misgendered victims, where no one knew the person was trans, but she found out. She did it out of love and her sense of justice and decency. She told people with privilege to get a hold of themselves to value the access they had to do the work on behalf of others who couldn't. She was so rarely taken seriously as a journalist, but she was the best of us and she did it with a blog. She was never, ever paid what she was worth. What I learned from Monica is not the important part of the story. What a million young trans people and black trans women learned from her is the thing. Don't take yourself lightly. Don't excuse bullshit. Hold on to yourself and hold on to the people who have your back. And work like your goddamn life and the future depends on it. I don't think I'm ever going to get over the loss of this woman and I've lost a lot of people. But Monica was always, always so stubborn, so right, so committed, so motivated by the love of her people and the safety of them, too. I wish she had known that the New York Times would publish her a bit, because I honestly don't think she would have ever expected that. She was humble, despite herself, and I think she would have been pretty damn pleased with herself in an awesome way. But here's the thing. She would have leveraged every goddamn second of it to do more good in the world, to keep more people safe, to make sure young trans people knew they were loved and awesome, to tell each of her communities in turn what they were fucking up and what they were doing right. I have never known an actual person who lived up to the legacy, the renown, the love that she was. But my God, what a set of footprints in the sand. None of us, to my mind, would be paying attention to the violence against black trans lives without her. That march in Brooklyn was seeded a long time ago by her work. So much was. May we all recommit ourselves to turning Texas blue eventually in her name, because she deserves twice as much. So on this uh, Transgender Day of Remembrance, uh, my memory is all about Monica and all of the work she did. And for the record, just want to recommit myself to all of that work in her name. Happy tea, Dorf.